What's up, Navigators? Today, I am so excited because I'm an 80s baby and I just had a birthday. And so I figured why not show you how to make some animated retro 80s themed YouTube intros for your YouTube videos. We will be using Wondershare Filmora, who's actually sponsoring today's video. So thank you very much. They're also giving you guys a free trial. So if you don't have Wondershare Filmora yet, make sure to go down into the description box below, click on that link, you're gonna sign up and then you can follow along these video tutorials. I'll also have have the themed packs that I will be creating for you um, down below as well. They're going to be with no text, so you'll have the background and the music that accompanies it. So let's get started with this tutorial. All right, so uh, first things first is I'm going to show you how to make one of the templates that I've already made, and then I'm going to actually show you how to customize one of the preset templates that are available in Filmora. So first, we're going to do the template that I made. I really love this one. It has to be my favorite one. I'm definitely in this like retro -y, neon glitchy vibe right now so this is what the video looks like um so it just kind of rolls through and then you'll see it has a glitch there um so from there i'm also going to choose music so i like to do the music first because i like to make sure it lines up with other effects such as like my channel name and like my subscribe button so if you go into audio you can go to what's new and i just type in intro so i'm using this bassy future intro uh, you see there's a heart here i like to heart things that i use because i can easily go back to my favorites and then reuse them for a different project there. Obviously you can see that this is much longer than what the intro is going to be. So you can cut it here. And then if you double click on the sound, you can go ahead and fade out. So this way it doesn't seem weird that the music just kind of cuts off. So I'll just kind of scrub over and then so it's a nice like fade out here. So once I have that, I'm gonna go back to where this glitch is at right here because this is where I want the channel name to pop up. I want it to be really natural. So I'm gonna hit okay because we're done with audio. And then I'm gonna go to the titles effect here. I already have it on glitch. Again, I hearted this, um, but if you go, you'll see that there's different sections here. So they have a ton of different themes to choose from. Again, I wanted to keep it with the vibe. So I went to recommend it and then I just typed in glitch and it's this glitch intro lower third O2. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, drag and drop it right to where my line is at. So we can see it uh, starts to appear. And so it blends in really nicely with the background. And then, and then right here is where I kind of want my, uh, subscribe button to be. So to get to your subscribe button or any other call to actions, you're going to go to elements. Uh, you can see here, I already have subscribe. I've been playing with it, but typically again, you have what's new. They even have social media ones. So this is where you're going to find, like if you want to add your TikTok or your Instagram or anything like that. Um, but again, you can go to recommended and then you'll see different subscribe buttons here. So I really like this one because again, it has the colors and I feel like it kind of goes. Um, you also have more traditional ones if you want to do that. So I think I've favorited, here's a more traditional one. So we're just going to keep this because I want to show you how to um, add sound effects. So you, it sounds like it's clicking because it doesn't come with that. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this over just a little bit because I want this to end before if you want to see your timeline you can go ahead and scrub in by doing this make sure there's just a little bit of room in between so this way this is done and this gives me room when i add it to my next project i have room to like fade it in or add a transition in or make sure it like flows nicely into my actual video on my next project. Um, so once I have this, this is where I start to customize stuff. So the first thing you want to customize is where it says glitch. You want that to say your channel name. So go ahead and click on here. You're going to click on the text itself with this one. There's actually three. You're going to do your channel name. I'm going to copy it. We're going to resize this down to a 61 and then I'm going to move it down and then click the second color, paste that. 61 and repeat with the third color back here. And then I'm going to add everything on top. Oops, not you little guy. Here we go. Um, do the pink first and you do want it to be staggered just a little bit. That's what helps with that glitch effect. So pink one way, blue the other way, and then white right in the middle. There you go. So you see how you can kind of see the pink with the blue. So that's what helps give that glitch effect. As you can see, there's um, text on top and there's text on the bottom. So this, I usually just use the text on the bottom for like my um, niche statements. Obviously we can't see this. So we're going to want to change the text color here, maybe to black. You can also do like borders here. There's different things that you can create. Um, you can also go to your advanced settings here and this will give you more control over the text options itself. So again, you have the fill color if you want. Um, 
Um, if you want to see more, there's different ones. You can even play with this a little bit, but I'm just going to go white and then I'm going to scroll down to this border here and do black. And then you can do like a text shadow. So I'm also going to do that in black, blur it out just a little bit and then move the distance. There we go. I'm kind of liking that. Actually, let's do a purple. I feel like that's going to help with that glitch effect. And then as far as this text here, I'm actually just going to delete it because I feel like I don't need it. But if you wanted to add something up there, you definitely can. So we can go ahead and press OK. And then this is what it looks like. If you want to move anything, you can. But I kind of like how this is. And then I think because I have that there, I'm going to move my subscribe button to the top little different if you want to resize it you'll see those little buttons here the blue ones just kind of resize it in and then I'll just make that on top make it a little bit bigger there we go so it's lined up for the sound effects you can go back to audio you're gonna go to sound effects and you'll see there's different ones so there's a mouse click there's an explosion there's a whoosh there's a bell so I'm gonna do the mouse click and I already know there's two and you want to just make sure I like to have the sound effects on top that's just me personal preference I'm gonna move the music I'm gonna turn the volume down to about a 16 9 7 there he goes and then do the mouse click another mouse click actually I think the bell comes first so let's move you guys down here and then we're gonna do the bell all right, and then I'm gonna scrub across to where it clicks on the bell, right when it starts to move inwards. You can go ahead and cut this bell by hitting that scissor here, delete on the keyboard, and then move this guy here. Actually, it's moving a little bit over there. And then move into about where it clicks in here. There we go, so it's all lined up. And then last thing we're gonna do is just play it one more time. All right, and then if you want to fade out, um, all you have to do is double click on here, go to animation, you're going to see a fade out. And so you can fade out there, just make sure the lines all the way, um, you'll see a green bar. So the longer the bar, the longer it takes to fade out. I just want a quick fade out for both of them here, align them, and then you can see it fades out nicely. So that's how you do that. Once you're done with this, you're going to go ahead and press export. You can save your project, it's going to save to your device super fast and you're done. All right, when it comes to their um, preset ones, all you need to do is go to title. And then again, if you wanna pick a theme, you can go through here to see what themes they have, or you can go to like what's new and then type in like retro, cause that's the theme we're going with. And then you have like these two right here. So I actually like this one a lot. And then you can keep the same like vibey intro that we had like the audio. So let's go back to the base future. And remember, double click to fade out. Perfect. And then for here, same thing. You're just going to click on the text to get to the editor and then put your channel name. Just a little resize it with those little arrows there. See what size I have it at now. Make sure it's right in the middle. You can use the lines to let you know what it's at. Get it lined up. It should have like this little glitchy glow effect like that. Again, you can use this one if you want to do um, your like niche statement. Um, and then you can just get rid of this one if you want to, or you can add something else um, up here, like a different name. You can even do it to where like, if you have two names like I do, this one can be navigating. So you can customize this however you'd like. And then from there, once you're done, you can hit okay. And then again, you can add any elements that you want to. So if you want to add the same element here, and then if you want to add the sound effects, you would do the same thing. So go back to audio, go to sound effects, you do the mouse clicks. So if you want to move everything, just control and then click on your mouse, move all of these elements together, giving a little bit of room. So this way you have room to transition into the clip once you're done. And then this is what this would look like. But that is how you make your custom animated intro. These are all retro vibes and I have all of the ones that I showed you at the beginning of this video in the description box below. So you can download them. They have no text, so you can go ahead and customize it to your heart's desire. Or if you have Filmora, you can go ahead and use one of their preset packs like I just showed you. Again, Filmora is sponsoring today's video, so thank you very much. You can go ahead and get a free trial down in the description box below. Highly recommend that. So this way you can create these custom animated uh, YouTube intros. Let me know what theme you'd want to see next and don't forget to check out this video so you can see how to remove a green screen using Filmora. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together.